Megan's bot army was unsuccessful in its plan to attack the Princess of Wales, and it even backfired when people defended Catherine and pointed out that Meghan and Harry were the ones who edited the photos more. Each of their photos was dug up again, and Misson constantly took controversial photos of the Sussex couple's children and stood up to explain them. Let's analyze his defense regarding the photos, and welcome back to the Royal News 365 channel, my friends. For some who don't know, Sussex Photogate, Missen Harriman is the photographer who often takes photos related to Megan's unusually swollen belly and invisible children. This is probably just a coincidence. They always have coincidences like that. He embarrassingly tried to blame his admission of editing the Sussex Willow Tree photo on the BBC radio host. Then he released a photo that he claimed was the original unedited photo to prove the photo. It's methodical and professional. I find it ironic. Princess of Wales simply adjusted a few details about the heavily attacked outfit. As for Meghan's pictures, they ignored them. Double standards. He added a tree in the photo. It was an artistic choice to create a photograph. It was not a news photo, it was an artistic photo, and he did manipulate an image. Just own it. I do find it very strange that the journalist mentioned Missin added the tree, and he doesn't deny it. He just goes on a nauseating diatribe about their love or whatever. The fact remains, however, that he didn't deny the comment about adding the tree. The journalist said the tree wasn't there. He was perfectly free to refute that claim, and he chose not to. So maybe Megan added the tree. And... He didn't want, want to throw her under the bus because that would make him look like a pushover too, or he wanted more business by the Harkles. Most of us know how demanding narcs can be. It's entirely possible Megan had an intern manipulate the photo without Missan's okay and still floated it as his. I think most photographers would be hesitant to have such a big thing added in there. Honestly, this makes him look really bad. I personally don't care about the tree one way or the other. It's his sanctimonious attitude I can't stand. Yes, the journalist in the clip he played suggested the tree wasn't in the original photo. Harriman could have corrected it. Instead, he acts like the journalist is lying or putting words in his mouth. Spare us the sermon and just clarify the facts. They were fools to say McGann would never make this mistake. They opened Pandora's box. They should have either said something nice or nothing at all. However, the arrogance of we would never let this happen is biting them in the bum. It sounds like something typical she would do to build a whole sweeping narrative about the tree. It was important for their love story to have the tree depicted in the second child's birth announcement. After all, the second child made them a family. And he's too chicken shit to ever admit if it was her who edited the tree in, so much for using a professional photographer. He's too embarrassed to admit that he allowed her to change his work. The Harkles will regret opening this particular can of worms for sure. There are many words to describe them, yet meticulous is not one of them, nor are they known for attention to detail either. His word salad galore, just like his friend Megan. These people cannot admit to anything. Always has to blame someone, always has to deflect, and always has to reason it out like it did not happen. Can't listen to this anymore. And of course Megan, even in situations where Catherine was put in a bad light by everybody, feels the need to insert herself into it. Always needs to be the saint in a situation where she has no business to be. That's why this guy came out, because of a very few who saw the hypocrisy. If Megan just shut her pie hole and did not say anything, people would not call them out. I hear obfuscation in Misson's response. He doesn't want to admit whatever he did to the photo. Frankly, I don't care about the tree, however. The journalist is clearly saying the willow tree wasn't there if it was. Why not correct him? Why serve up a sentimental, sugary word salad? The old adage is people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. 
The Harkles and all their creepy acolytes are going to regret the day they started down this path. And by the way, when Misson showed the original photo to prove himself or whatever he says, can we please have Archie's christening photo or Lily's portrait at the birthday party? I wish he could. The Sussex squad and Harkles never learn. When they post their grubby fingers at others, it is to cover what they are doing themselves. The stink of hypocrisy emanates from everyone involved with these vile people. They accuse others of what they themselves are guilty of. So Catherine being cold is really Megan being cold, and William being extremely violent is probably Harry being violent. They have a long history of getting the squatties to make allegations about Catherine and William. I'm pretty sure the gossip and lies come from the Harkles, and although used to attack William and Catherine, they are the behaviors of the Harkles. All of the nonsense about pegging, affairs, racism, laziness, right back at you, Harkles. Back to my son, within seconds I'm already bored of his tree talk word salad. The composition of the picture was awful and shows a complete lack of design judgment on his part anyway. He's totally out of his depth as a photographer, and Harry's nasty foot is a huge distraction. This guy really wants his name to stay in the headlines since he lost the Oscar to a well-respected director, and being interviewed because of this candle is his only way to retain any sort of all press, is good press relevancy. And I heard that Miss and Harriman did not take the photo. He was thousands of miles away in Britain. Mason took remote control of the couple's iPad and was chatting to them the whole way through the process. He obtained a picture of them and manufactured it by adding the tree. I doubt that the Harkles gave him complete control over their iPad. And surely Doria could have done it. It's not like Missin has any more skill than the average person, especially if they're going to use an iPad. I don't get why someone has to take a virtual photo from thousands of miles away when there are literally thousands of photographers in Los Angeles and its environs. They are afraid that the secrets they try to keep will be exposed. This whole saga is so weird. Newspapers will have certain principles for photo editing. Some newspapers absurdly demanded that the picture of the Princess of Wales be removed. This makes me feel confused. Intent to deceive, to me, is the key issue. Are the edits intended to communicate something that isn't true? In the case of the Mother's Day photo, my understanding is that Catherine layered different images of the kids, so all of them are looking at the camera and smiling in the finished picture. There is nothing deceitful or nefarious about these edits. She wasn't trying to pull a fast one or even make the kids or herself look different. Certainly, if they violate guidelines, it's fine to pull the images, however. The press response has been absurd. This is not a breach of trust. As for my son, I think he is hiding the fact that Megan added the tree. The tree is probably a non-issue. It's Harriman's victimhood and an apology demanding that's so infuriating. He had a chance to correct the misinformation in the BBC interview and chose to change the subject. Naturally, the rumor persisted. And now he acts aggrieved. And he released the photo he called the original photo to justify himself. However, that isn't that is the photo in question. It's the one from the same shoot where she's holding a little boy, supposedly Archie yet who can tell, that has been photoshopped 60 ways from Sunday. He's just desperately trying to save face. The rumor that he photoshopped the tree into the picture has apparently been floating around for years. He was even asked about it and failed to correct, and now he's trying to play the victim. Whatever the photo, I don't believe it is the original photo. Harry didn't have that much hair. There is nothing wrong with what Catherine did in the, in the photo. I feel very, very bad for Catherine. She does not deserve the vitriol she is getting. As for Megan's images, the tree is a simple object addition. Very easy work, which is why it wasn't noticed by many. Happens all the time in professional photography. It's not seen as rare or immoral. It wouldn't be a big deal if they weren't hypocrites about Catherine's image. Now it's a big deal. Now they should be scrutinized for adding a tree. Until now it didn't matter. 
I can't say if the image would have passed or not. To be honest, it shouldn't have. The whole strange thing about this is that the news was right to kill the image. They have standards that they have to abide by. The edit isn't the issue. The actual issue here is the fact that the media published a very, very public kill notice. Hundreds of images are rejected every day. They just handle it quietly. Why was this done so loudly? I believe it's a matter of the media trying to get back at Catherine for not giving them things to report on for two months. And Sugar Squad takes advantage of the opportunity to drag Catherine through the mud so that the witch can shine. Unlucky for them, they failed. Apart from deranged sugars, the public is firmly on Catherine's side. There'll be another scandal next week to distract them. Apparently, a U.S. talk show host has mentioned that William had an affair with Rose Hanbury, and this is the reason for Catherine's absence. Megan's ideology of lying and fabrication has spread. Using many tricks, Megan still successfully inserted herself into Catherine's comeback story. I admire her tenacity. Even though the story is negative, I believe Megan will be pleased to be mentioned. She likes to stand in the background, controlling her army and allies. Quite interesting to follow the story further. Let's wait and see how this Photoshop war will end. That brings us to the end of my video. What do you think about this photo and Miss Anne? Please join the discussion with us by commenting. And if you like our videos, don't hesitate to like and share so YouTube's algorithm recommends similar videos. Please support us by subscribing to receive notifications when the latest videos are updated. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you later.